Well, I didn't think I was going to have to say stay warm in the near end of March, but nonetheless, there's snow on the ground. I hope that you are staying warm and that uh, being sequestered inside, you have some time to do some work as well as have some time to relax uh, and, and take care of yourself. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself and you are trying to stay healthy. Uh, this announcement is for my English 104 students and is meant to fill you in on the things that are uh, that I'm working on, right, in terms of the, the grades and then the things that you need to make sure that you're completing for this week, including those things that are on Moodle and then kind of getting you to think about what's coming next week. So what I'm moving to is an announcement structure where I let you know at the beginning of the week what to do, and then I review that at the end of the week to make sure that you understand kind of the track of things, okay? So I just want to give you a heads up that Journal 5 has been graded. All that feedback is coming back to you on Moodle. In that feedback, I focused on really looking at how you can meet with me if you want in terms of virtually or vid uh, uh, video feedback, that type of stuff, um, connecting with me uh, via Google Hangouts as well as Zoom. And then I'm also working on grading the annotated bibs and then some of those other smaller assignments, uh, but largely your grade books are up to date at this point. Okay. Um, all feedback for the annotated bibs will come back via Moodle. And so what I plan to do is really go through, have your paper up and uh, essentially attach the uh, paper, uh, really not the paper, but uh, the rubric as well as a video that walks you through those, uh, uh, those uh, mistakes and the positive things that you were working on uh, or that you were doing within your annotated bibs. Okay, so look for that uh, hopefully later in the week or, or over the weekend. Um, you do have a couple things coming due this week, so I want to share my screen with you so that you understand uh, what it is that we're working on. All right, so when we click in here, this is what our Moodle page will look like. And you'll remember that in the previous videos, I've told you that the information to find is actually down here in the Persuasive Research Unit. We have a essentially a heading or a label at the top that says, hey, we've got this distance learning stuff. So there is a schedule posted up here that walks you through week 11. I will be posting schedules week by week to keep you moving forward. You look a little further down and you'll notice that we have the assignments for unit three, which is really the stuff that's taking place now that we're in unit three working on that persuasive research paper. We have two attendance and free write point forums that are coming due this week. One will come due on the 24th and one will come due on the 26th. Now that is regardless of your CRN or your section. So uh, if you are in, let's see here, if you are in my Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday section, it still comes due for you on the 20, 24th as well as the 26th regardless of your section okay um so you'll post those in here and i have extended things until 11 59 p.m to try to give you them as much time as i can um basically these are where you sit down and you start focusing your attention on the material that way it gets you ready to do some of the other homework so again you have two of those due this week, one by 11.59 on uh, Tuesday, another one by 11.59 on Thursday. And you'll notice that that second one is right down here, okay? And the reason that these have two dates is because I have classes on two different sections and uh, I carry these over class to class, all right? Then you also have these two assignments that will be coming due and both of these come due on Friday at 11.59 p.m. So you can always work ahead. But largely what I'm having us focus on at this point is starting to think a little bit about the structure of our papers in terms of counter arguments and our, uh, and our arguments, starting to think a little bit about outlines, and then how to build the paragraphs up to construct those type of outlines and to know how to use some of our sources. And so you'll notice that those two assignments, the uh, paper structure assignment and the body paragraph assignment are largely what walk you through those, okay? Then right below those assignments, you will notice that we do have a sample paper with comments. That first one, I think, is the best representative of really what I'm looking for in our class, but I have provided you with some other um, sample papers, five other sample papers down there um, that also are fairly good representations, but, notice, uh, but note that the first one has solid use of ACTs, and it also has comments that I've put in it to hopefully help you realize what I am looking for in that paper. 
All right. So now as we are looking into the following week, um, we won't have a journal due this week, but we will have a journal due next week. And so I will post that journal question, which will be journal six in uh, the journal area of Moodle, which is over here, journal assignments, upload and free write on Wednesday but that will be included in the uh, uh, week end announcement and it will also be included in the beginning week announcement for next week. All right. So remember a couple things that you want to make sure that you're taking care of. You want to make sure you're doing those two attendance free write point forums uh, that are on Moodle. Those are due on Tuesday and Thursday by 1159. And then we also have the paper structure assignment and the body paragraph assignment which largely have you watching videos, completing worksheets, um, and then submitting those on Moodle so that I'm able to grade them and give you some feedback. And those are due by 11.59 on Friday. And I believe Friday for us is the 27th. Okay, so if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to email me. That's what I'm here for. We can always video conference. Um, I can provide you with any type of feedback that you need. Uh, ultimately, remember, I am here for you. I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to stay healthy. And I want you to continue working forward without the stress of not knowing what's going on. So simply email me if you have questions. All right, guys, just take care. Uh, stay safe, stay warm, and most importantly, stay brilliant.